head coach uh, Nancy Feldman, uh, you're going to get to host the program's first ever NCAA tournament game. Your thoughts on uh, getting to host Harvard? Yeah, well, we're, we're thrilled to host, and we're thrilled the NCAA uh, chose us as one of the 32 host sites. Um, I thought we were deserving, and um, it's nice to see that uh, we're recognized um, for our accomplishments this year. Uh, and now uh, on to the NCAA tournament, where again it's zero, zero, and zero. That's how it was when we, when we entered the America East tournament. And, uh, what's been uh, done before and what you've done before and what your record is and how many goals you've scored or how many shutouts you've had or what your results were against a particular opponent uh, that we happen to have faced Harvard before it doesn't really matter. What, hap what, what matters is preparing well for Saturday's game and playing our best game on Saturday. Uh, I'm sure we'll get their best game and Harvard's been on quite a run in the Ivy League. They haven't lost a game in the Ivy League and they're um, they're going to be a really competitive opponent. And uh, you've tied a program record for win, uh, winning streak at 13 games. What is the team going to need to do to continue that streak? Well, we have to just take it one game at a time, and that's an age-old cliche in sport, but it really is the only thing that matters. Um, you know, getting, getting focused on what we need to do to win this game, and that's mostly playing with the style that we've played with. We're not going to make drastic changes to what we do, but we know they have some really special attacking personalities that we're going to have to keep under wraps. And um, we also, as one of the captains said uh, to the team right before we left the, the meeting here after the selection show, is um, it's also about bringing a fun spirit and um, enjoying the experience. So it's about doing the work, and a lot of that work's been done already. Um, it's finishing it up this week, and it's enjoying it. And, um, and playing together as a cohesive unit and believing we can, we can win. And then uh, obviously you just talked about what the team needs to do, but this is going to be the first time ever in program history that you will be hosting an NCAA game. Uh, as a head coach, how do you make sure that the team doesn't get all the goosebumps of getting to host the game? Obviously they've been to the NCAA tournament before, but it's a different feeling getting to actually host the game. Yeah, I actually think it won't be anything more uh, anxious or cause any more stress. I think it actually will have the opposite effect. I think as we uh, feel, feel real comfortable playing here, um, we'll be able to sleep in our own beds, we'll be able to have our own, own same routine in our team room, in our locker room. So I think everything about it is positive as far as what kind of um, comfort it will provide. Um, play in front of our home fans and uh, all the our BU community. So, uh, there's really not one negative thing about being home. It is certainly a thrill and excitement, and I'm, I'm sweating right now just um, watching the selection show. There's an added energy that comes with playing in the NCAA tournament. That was going to be the case whether we were home or, or uh, somewhere on the West Coast. But I think being at home, there's a comfort to it. And I think as the week goes along and then as the game plays out on Saturday, I think that's going to help us rather than have any negative effects. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.